Well, we're here today on a very exciting adventure. As a matter of fact, it's called Ventures. <laughs> and we're with the co-founder, Alex Hall. Her and her husband co-found the Airship Venture. And we're here at Moffett Field in Mountain View, California. Welcome. Good to be here. Good to meet you. Now we're on the grounds of what was an historic Navy base? Absolutely. The Navy base was built in the early 1930s uh, when the Macon airship, the Navy Zeppelin Macon, was due to be here mm -hmm. to be housed in Hangar 1, which was built for it. So we're on an airship base and it's tremendously right. exciting for us as an airship company to be based somewhere so historical. That has to be. Now there are three airship uh, hangars here. One large one, two small ones still, I believe. Hangar 1 is the largest of the three hangars okay. at Moffett Field. That's the one that was built for the original dirigible. Okay. The other two hangars, hangars 2 and 3, were built for Navy blimps. Okay. Um, there is a difference, you know, between a That's Zeppelin and a blimp. That's on my list of questions. <laughs> yeah, we'll cover that when we get to the technical part, because I want to get a bit of the history of how you had met your husband. And I believe I read he was with Microsoft, not with Microsoft, but with a software company. Is that correct? My and husband owns his own software company. Okay. He's had it for 18 years. It's based in Los Gatos. Right. And um, he also has a big passion, as do I, for right. aviation. Yes. And when we were dating, we would have these discussions about kind of quirky forms of aviation and space. Right. And discovered that we both had an interest in airships. Right. And one day, Brian was busy searching the internet and discovered that Zeppelin still existed. Right. It was a big surprise to what us. What a famous name to even hear and to find out they're still Very around. famous name. And of course, wow. everyone assumes that when the Hindenburg exploded, yes. that that was it for Zeppelin. Well, that wasn't the case at all. By right. that time, they were already well diversified, making yes. engines and other aviation equipment. Okay. And so the company still exists today. It's 100 years old. Right. And uh, in 1990, they restarted their airship division. Okay, and why I brought uh, him up and working with the software because if I'm correct, he was at a software convention in Cologne by chance. Is this where he saw an actual Zeppelin and had the inspiration to, to in the future start your business? He first flew on the Zeppelin in Cologne. Right. It was there right? for the World Cup. And did he get a ride on He it? did. He was able to go online and to book a ticket and to okay. fly with the Zeppelin. Right. Having flown over Cologne, realized that this was the best way to see the world. Right. It was a perspective that you just couldn't get in right. any other way. Right. And I hear with the new technology, which NT stands for new technology. It does indeed stand for new technology, yeah. With the new technology, it's even quieter, smoother than ever. Is that correct? The flight on the Zeppelin is a very serene and peaceful experience. Right. You can right. barely hear the engines. You're right. 40 feet below them when you're in the gondola. Right. Um, it's a, a, an experience of just kind of gliding along and then you kind of open the window, you can look out, you can put your hand out and feel the wind I against your hand. Um, you have to be careful not to drop your camera. Sure. Because <laughs> really I read that the glass is 360 degrees. That's right. It's like being in a goldfish bowl. <laughs> but yeah, and then I didn't know if you actually could open windows or not. You can indeed, and wow. it means that you can get pictures without any of right. the glare of the glass. Right, right. Going back to Cologne, now he was inspired by seeing an actual Zeppelin made by the Zeppelin company, found out they're still in business and there's new technology. So what was his next step? And were you guys together yet or not? It oh yes, we were We okay. were already dating at this point okay. and had been discussing uh, you know, what we might do and sure. whether we were going to get married. Um, okay. The challenge for us was geographic location. I was based right. up in the north, on the East Bay and okay. uh, Brian down in the South Bay and okay. that's not the best commute in the world as right. most of us know they have to sit in Bay Area commute traffic. Right. So we were just discussing what this, what could happen and yeah. uh, Brian reached out to the Zeppelin company and he said, yeah. I think the San Francisco Bay Area would be the best place in the world to and be flying a Zeppelin. it's true. It's got to be true. It is true. And he went and yeah. did a big presentation to Zeppelin. And right. he gets to the end of this Good presentation and they said, you know, we've done all the weather studies and we've looked at the people and this is absolutely the best place in the right. world. That would have to be true because this area originally had the hangars and the Zeppelins. I don't know if they called them Zeppelins then, we'll talk about that. But they had to have them here for a reason, not just because there's a Navy base, but because it, it was the right weather. The climate's really good here for an airship. Yeah. Um, it's predictable, which is what you need. Right. Um, the wind tends to come from a steady direction rather than blowing okay. all over the place. And okay. these are the sorts of things that you need sure. for physically flying the airship. Yeah. Of course, there's no point flying the airship, but there's nothing yeah. great to see. Yeah. Um, and this area is outstanding in terms right. of the natural beauty, but also in a sense, the beauty that you see flying over the cities and the man-made creations in the Bay Area right. too, like the right. Golden Gate Bridge. 
Right. Now let's tie in romance again with this story because this is very exciting. Brian comes back from Europe and says, honey, I want to buy an airship. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> okay. And you thought, well, okay, you going back in your career in life, you're an astrophysicist. Originally. So you had, you know, interest in things like this also. Maybe not the Zeppelin yet, but. I was very interested in aviation and aerospace okay. and familiar with, um, we talked about it, with what the Zeppelin could do. Right. And so when Brian said, you know, I really think this could be a business that we yes. should bring to the Bay Area then that was perhaps part of the answer for us for right. saying, okay, well, if I give up my job and move, then maybe what I should be doing right. is starting this Zeppelin company and getting guys. that off the ground. So okay. we decided that that would be the plan. Um, we had no idea at that point how we were going to acquire a Zeppelin. Okay, a dateline right about then is when? Uh, that is September of 2006. 2006. And you got married in February of 2007. Seven. Seven. Okay. That's right. And okay. I started working on the project so, full time in good. March of 2007. Okay. So we uh, we took just over a year to yeah. raise the money that we needed, and then mm -hmm. in May of 2008 we closed our financing, and then had to set about building the team and getting everything right. ready for the airship to arrive in October. Right. One of the first things that we knew we needed to do when we decided to bring a, an airship to the Bay Area was, you know, the question, where on earth are we going to park this Where do thing? you park it? <laughs> you know, where do you park it? So we decided that um, clearly we had to go talk to NASA as right. they were in charge of Moffett Field. Right. And because of my background in, in uh, astrophysics and space yes. and in education, I already had wonderful contacts here at NASA. Of course. Um, so I was able to come in and talk to them and say, you know, you guys have these hangars and um, it would be an appropriate historic reuse Absolutely. to bring an airship back to Moffat. There were only three Zeppelins in existence, mm -hmm. one in Japan, one mm -hmm. in Germany. And this one here. So our airship is the largest airship in the world. Right. Uh, that's 50 feet longer than the Goodyear blimp, yes. the largest airship flying today. When we brought it up on the <laughs> internet, that's actually one of my exact papers, which someone around here has a bit of a sense of humor in that it compares it in size to the giant squid. That's right, yes. And the, the... I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but this is funny. On the top is the Zeppelin, the largest airship. On the bottom is the giant squid. Yeah, our illustrator had a sense of humor there. We were we were busy looking at what we could compare the airship to and of course yes. the passenger carrying capacity. Um, and the and squid is one passenger. I think I it's know. one and a bit actually. One and point two. We um we had somebody contact us and ask oh. us why why we put that down as a passenger carrying capacity and I didn't know so I asked the illustrator and he sent me a wonderful um, paragraph which someday we should post yes. which explains how he went online and he found out about um, how much food a giant squid in pounds digests per hour Is that and right? calculated at any given point in time that the amount of weight of food on the squid yes. was about equal to one and a bit people. <laughs> I would say that there are some people that have a little too much time on their hands. Yes. <laughs> well, that adds a nice touch to it, it's I cute, think, it? you know, because it had to be hard dealing with government, dealing with city council, but everything has worked out well. And it has. I mean, one of our biggest challenges has been that there is no checkbox for a Zeppelin. You know, <laughs> we're filling out we're filling out these insurance forms and you know, there's nothing quite right. there, there is no our airship is classed as a commuter utility airship, a CUA. Oh my gosh. Yes. And there is no commuter utility airship box anywhere in this country. So when we've been talking to the regulatory agencies, you know, the conversation usually starts off yeah. somewhere like, what are you doing? Well, we're bringing this Zeppelin to the United States. And then it's quiet, a Zeppelin? <laughs> so this, this, these conversations happen where you're trying to explain what this airship does and right. that no, it's not going to explode. And that that was hydrogen and no helium is yes. non-flammable. Yes. And we talk about all of these things. Yeah. Um,